In this video, I'm going to write a C program that's going to find the average of groups of numbers in a file. And this is actually being done in response to a question here by Ethan James, who wanted to know how to solve this problem. I was able to find a version of this question online that's actually pretty well written up. So I've actually posted a link to this in the description. And basically the problem we've got is that we're going to have a file with numbers like this in it. And the format of these numbers is that the first number in a group is the number of numbers in that group. So this number here, five, means that the next group has five numbers. And the next five numbers in the file are those five numbers. So what we want to do is output that the number of elements in the group is five. We want to output the numbers in the group. And then we want to find the average of those numbers. And that would take us to here in the file. Then what we want to do is reading the next number, which is going to tell us how many numbers are in the next group, in this case, four. We'd read in those numbers, we'd output them, and we'd find the average. And it would look like this. We'd say the number of elements in the group is four, the data in the group is this, and the average is this. And then finally, we read in the next number. That's again going to be the size of the next group in terms of how many numbers are in it. This time it's six. We'd read in these six numbers, we would output them, and we'd output the average as well. So that's the problem we're trying to solve here, is we've got this format of the length of a group followed by the numbers in the group until the end of the file. So let's actually solve this problem now. So here, I've got a file called numbers.dat, and we'll use that as our numbers file. And we're going to write a C program to process this file and produce the output that I was showing you there. So the first thing we're going to need is a file handle to actually open the file. So I'll say here, file star numbers file. So we've got a file handle to work with the file. Then we have to open the file. So I'll say numbers file is equal to f open numbers.dat and then r for reading mode. So this will open the numbers.dat file here in reading mode so we can read from the file. And it'll return a file handle that we can use to actually access and read from the file. Now, if fopen doesn't work, it's going to return null. So we'll just check for that because we want to handle the case where it doesn't work. We'll say if numbers file is equal to null, something went wrong. So we'll say printf error opening file, and then we'll return one. So we'll just let the user know that something was wrong opening the file. And we're going to return one because when we return one, that's actually a signal to the terminal, to the shell here that something went wrong in our program's execution. So next we're gonna to have to actually process the file now that we've opened it successfully. So to do that, we're gonna need a few variables to keep track of several things. We're gonna need a variable to keep track of the length of the group. We're gonna need a variable to store the next number in the group. We're gonna need a variable to keep track of how many numbers are remaining in a group. And we're also gonna need a variable to keep track of the total of the numbers in the group so far, so we can actually compute the average. So we'll make those variables here. We'll say double next number to store the next number in the group, int remaining group numbers to keep track of how many numbers are remaining in the group, group length to keep track of the length of the group we're currently looking at, and then a total to keep track of the total of the numbers in the group that we've read in so far. So we're going to keep reading in the file until we've reached the end of the file. So here we're going to say while not f eof numbers file. So f eof is going to return true when we've reached the end of the file. And it's going to use the numbers file file handle to detect that. So we're saying so long as we haven't reached the end of the file. So so long as it's not the case that we've reached the end of the file, keep going. And then we're going to do something different based on whether we're reading in a number that tells us how many numbers are in the next group or whether we're reading in a number that's part of a group. Because there's really two different kinds of numbers in this file. There's the number that lets us know how many numbers are in the next group. And then there's a number that's a part of a group itself, like these numbers here. So we're going to actually make that distinction here. And we're going to keep track of that using how many numbers are remaining. Because if remaining group numbers is zero, that means the next number we're reading in 
is going to be one of these numbers that tells us how many numbers is in the group. So we'll say here, if remaining group numbers is zero, the next number we read in is gonna be telling us how many numbers are in the next group, like four or six. So we use an F scan F to read in that number. We'll say F scan F and we'll give numbers file as a file handle. Then we'll say percent D because we're reading in an integer and we'll store it into group length. So group length is going to keep track of how many numbers are in the group we're currently looking at. We're going to want to set remaining group numbers to group length because we're going to use remaining group numbers to keep track of how many group numbers are remaining as we read them in. So we'll say here, remaining group numbers is equal to group length. And we'll use that to count down how many group numbers are actually remaining. Now we could actually print out how many numbers are in the group. So here we could say printf, the number of elements in this group is, and we'll say percent %d slash n, and we can output the group length here. And then next, as we read in each number, we're going to print it out. So we could say printf, the data in this group is, and we'll leave it there. Now, the other possibility is that we're reading in a number that's part of a group. So we're reading in numbers like these that are part of this group, or numbers like these that are part of this group. And we're going to handle that a bit differently. We're going to use an fscanf again but this time we're going to store the number into next number. So we'll say here, f scanf numbers file, percent %lf, because we're reading in a double value, and we'll say here, and next number, to store it into next number. And then we can output that number. So that way it'll appear in this group of numbers here. So we'll say printf percent dot zero %lf, space and we'll output next number. I'm outputting it with zero decimal places because we're assuming that these numbers are all going to be integers based on the sample file we've got here. The reason why I've made it a double though in terms of the type of the variable is because we want to actually compute an average. And if you look at the example output that we had in that program, the example output included numbers with decimal places. So I do want to store it as a double and add it to a total that's a double. So that way when we compute the average, we're not doing integer division. We're gonna actually compute an average that includes a decimal place. But here I'm outputting it with a decimal point number of zero. So zero decimal points. So that way it outputs as a nice looking value like these without like a dot zero zero or something like that. So next we'll actually add the number to the total. So we'll say total plus equals next number. So store it into total, add it to total, and then we'll subtract from remaining group numbers by one. So we're gonna decrement remaining group numbers by one because we've read in another number and we're closer to being towards the end of the group of numbers now. Now there's one special case. If the remaining group numbers is zero, we wanna compute the average and output it. So if the remaining group numbers is zero, then it's time to compute the average and output it. So we'll say here, if remaining group numbers is zero, we'll output the average. We'll say printf average and we'll say percent dot two f slash n slash n. We'll output the total divided by the group length. So take the total of all the numbers we've added up and divide them by the group length. And then we'll set total equal to zero because we're going to start using total for the next group of numbers. So we want to reset it to zero at this point. So this should really be it. So I'll save this here now, and then we'll do a compilation and we'll try it out. So I'll say here gcc-odd.c to compile it, and then we'll run it. And we get the number of elements in this group is five, and we get the data of this group is these numbers here, the average is 75. The number of elements in this group is four. We get these numbers here, we get this average. The number of elements in this group is six. We get these numbers here, and we get this average and it all looks to be working correctly. And so here we've got a program in C that can read in groups of numbers in a file and find their average. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.